Remember when I said I wasn't dead? Well, I wasn't lying about that part. But I sort of didn't get to the let's playing part like I said I was. But today, I've got the motivation and I'm going to start something completely new. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy and hopefully this will mark my triumphant return. Welcome to Cube World. I don't know why it's cut off like that. They should definitely fix that. But this game is amazing. It has been out for a while and I've been playing it ever since it was released. And I gotta say, it's very fun. Now, as you can see, I already had a couple characters made up here. Um, the Ranger class I stuck with for quite a while. That's the one I've been playing mostly with Edmund and Louie on. But we're going to start somewhat fresh. Well, normally, you create a character, here you are. You could be the human, elf, dwarf, orc, goblin, etc. Male, female, change the classes. Yes, but I already have a character made up that I plan on using for this Let's Play. He's not very far in the levels. And we also will create a new world. Oh dear. Well, this is Aeon. He is a destroyer of worlds. Muhahaha. <laughs> So this game is gorgeous. Although it's probably not going to look so good on YouTube because I'm recording at half size with Fraps, so it doesn't take up so much space. But if you guys really want more, I'll focus on making it HD. But let's see, it's side on a side on a seat here. Ah, uh, the first world I had was Leet. So <laughs> all my number ideas are gone. Let's see, three fourteen pi. Pi. <laughs> Let's do that. Because Pi is amazing. And we'll see what it gets us. Please wait. Welcome to the lands of Damalon. <gasps> horses! Yay. Um, let's try killing those horses. Ow. Now, I haven't played the, uh... What is this, the mage class? I haven't played this class very much, so... I'm used to fighting with the Ranger. I obsessed over the Ranger class for a while because it had a couple glitches, but those were recently patched, so I'm trying to main a different class. Die, horse! Ah! These horses. Also, there's like absolutely no music in this game. Not yet, anyways. Perhaps I'll add some. This horse is relentless. Okay. Wonderful. Sometimes enemies will drop stuff, equipment and things. Here's my inventory. I have a couple things. I need this. I'm going to sell these. I'm hanging on to that. I like the wands and the bracelets for the mage class. But let's explore these lands. Usually you'll spawn in sort of a... Just a regular biome. But there's tons of different biomes like deserts and, and snowy lands and ocean. But uh, a good idea is to usually find the nearest city. Because that's where a lot of useful things are. I can't remember. Ah, I've just got a regular... You have a lamp too. Not that that matters. Only when it's dark out, because it gets really dark. Also, I should start collecting stuff, because this character is... Even though it's level 3, it's still fairly new. Aeon. The Destroyer of Worlds! Okay. You see, my little lantern sort of lights up this area. Not that it matters right now. I need to get a better lantern. It is possible to get amazing lanterns. Also, traveling on foot... Uh, you travel at a decent speed. But you can find and tame animals uh, and ride them. You learn it at this little... This is sort of a tech tree. I don't have... All of my points I've put towards this healing stream. Which, it, you can either have two different tech trees that aren't that different right now, anyways. But you can go up the different trees. Um, I'm mostly going to focus on riding and maybe gliding because gliding is pretty useful 
but animal writing definitely because it's a lot faster. This is one of the random campsites. You can uh, sleep in a bed if it'll let me. Yep, sleep face forward because that's how you'd normally sleep and suffocate. And you can also cook things at the fire, but I don't have anything to cook right now. I don't think. I don't know if you noticed earlier, but there was like a group of uh, other cube people running around. Oh, there they are. Yes, you'll come across different adventurers. Sometimes they'll be good, sometimes they'll be evil. And they'll, if the good ones see you fighting, they'll help you out and kill things. Iron deposit. Uh, there is mining. You, you don't really destroy any sort of blocks. Unless maybe with bombs. But besides that, there are some enemies that can destroy the landscape. I don't know how much more there's going to be implemented on destruction, but that doesn't really matter right now. We're focusing on a peaceful life. This is a peaceful class, because I can... It's um, healing. I can heal myself. So that's pretty neat. I won't have to make up too many healing items. Uh, but potions are useful to have on hand. Pineapples, you can get those, but most of the time just stay away from them because they're like the wimpiest healing item. Anyways, welcome to Damalon City, the Adventurer District. The Adventurer District has uh, like guys you can talk to if you want to... I think if you want to change the tech tree, you need money and you also need to talk to the correct um, human or whatever in town. Like if you're a ranger, for example, you'd talk to this fellow right here if you wanted to change something around in your tech tree. This one if you're a warrior. But that's not really important right now. What's important is the trade district because you can buy and sell things here. And also you can find uh, random villagers who will give you quests. Have you already explored Terroria Canyon? Look, I've marked the location on your map. Let's check my map right now. Terroria Canyon. If I travel to that land, there's probably going to be some sort of mini-boss there that I'll fight. And I think I can return to the villager and he'll give me money or something. If not, I'll get some epic gear from traveling to that land anyways. Also, another thing. The difficulty of areas or enemies are marked by the color. So, this is a lighter blue, so it's going to be easier. But if it was orange or red, stay away. Because it's going to be very hard. Like my name in the upper left, the level 3 mage, that's light blue, so I'm relatively weak. Also, blue usually means friendly. If uh, the lower part, like the human there, says it is blue, it doesn't say blue, it is blue. You can rest in the inn. Ah, yes, if it's late at night, you can talk to the innkeeper and change it to day, because that is the inn. What happened to the... Uh... Aha! Here it is. Also, you can, there is a pet district, different pets walking around that you can try and tame. But you need certain items. Also, my lamp. I need a better lamp. Let's see. I love sailing. Let's, what can I buy from this man? Um, I want to buy a glider as soon as possible. But I don't have enough money. We'll buy a carrot because, how do I buy? <gasps> you can't carry more of these. Do I already have carrot? I already have a carrot. When did I buy a carrot? Let's see. You can buy bombs and formulas. Formulas. If you buy a formula, you can... Uh, I believe you can right-click it to use it, and you'll unlock the formula to create that piece of equipment. Now, I can't make most of these because my level is extremely low. And... Nothing really useful right now that I can buy. Maybe some glass flasks to make some potions. But that will be for later. Although I don't really need potions right now. Um, as we go to the next bu um, different buildings, when I need them, I'll explain the different things you can do. But right now, I don't really need much else from this city. Um, where? Oh, where? 
uh, probably go to the canyon, show off some of the combat, besides killing some innocent horses. Uh, pumpkins, those are better than pineapples, because you can cook those up and make pumpkin muffins. Mm, those sound delicious. And a campfire. Um, now, those glass flasks I bought earlier. Oh, the camera's still a little wonky. You can go to your inventory. Is that how it works? I haven't played in a long time. How do I craft? Ah, uh, C. You can go to C. Oh, dear. Oh. I need to craft that when I get the chance. It's uh, 0.4 more powerful than the one I have right now. Anyways, you can also craft, ar uh, craft armor and weapons and amulets and so on and so forth. But right now, I'm going to make a water flask because that's what you need in the first place to make a life potion. So, bong! Crafting just takes a little bit of time. Ooh, craft all these water flasks. Dunking those all in the water. Exit that. And we're going to pick up a billion pumpkins. Or roughly 50. Okay, I have plenty of pumpkins. Good. Terrar Terraria Canyon. Almost sounds like Terraria. Which I need to head back through the city because it's on the other side. But after I get enough gear and equipment and feel comfortable, I'm going to exit this part of Damalan and we'll head towards a new biome. Which let's see, I only only this part's filled up, but it can go on and on. And you'll see on the map. Um there'll be changes in the, the blocks, these blue blocks. Like that, it's a little raised. This is probably going to be a different biome, possibly. Because there's another city there, too. But yeah, your map's always on the upper right, and there's a bunch of different things there, like the time, the temperature, and humidity, which will eventually start affecting things, but for now, they don't really serve a purpose. And the useful compass, because when you're lost, you are lost, my friend. Um, well, it's not that hard to get lost, because your map can really... It can literally see everywhere. So if you're playing with a friend and you spawn far away, just head towards their little head on the map. And you should be able to find them. But for now, we'll head to Tororia Canyon. Also, I wonder what eats a carrot. Probably... Oh, hard flowers. I'll take that. Probably a bunny. If I find a bunny rabbit. Or maybe, maybe horses. Wizard. There's an evil... There's evil wizards. There's evil wizards attacking me. And I shall kill the evil wizards. Oh no, the health beam of doom. Ah, those wizards. They are very strong. I've died. You hit R to revive, and you'll revive at one of these randomly placed statues. I hate those wizards. Like, they're normally easy, but they have that health beam that'll kill you really fast. And it hurts my soul. Anyways, which way am I going? That way. I really want to kill him now. I hope I can run into him again. Mushrooms, you can make like a mushroom kebab thing. At the campfire. Hot flowers. Cats. They're a... Like, the animals have different levels, too, so that would be a good cat to tame. Because it's probably going to be a higher level, but... I think those wizards were here. They're gone now. I don't... Like, right now, there's no penalty for dying, so I hope there won't be. The only penalty is you'll end up, like, really far away from where you were. Which sort of sucks sometimes, because so you, like, want to go right back and kill what killed you most of the time. But I can't find those guys. Uh, another campfire. Hmm. Am I? Ah, I'm not heading in the right direction. Okay. Need to head west, and we shall head west. Ah, uh, let's see. That is a shepherd dog. Let's kill it. Because experience is good for the soul. Yes, three XP. Experience is a little hard to come by. 
sometimes. There are some enemies that give out more experience than others, and you want to focus on those. Ah. Uh, you don't get experience from killing plants. I wish you would. It'd make it a lot easier. Um, I want to stay away from those. See how they're red? That means death. That means don't touch those. Owl. That's blue. Kill the owl. If I keep on it, my attacks get faster and faster. So that's pretty neat. So it'd be a good idea to attack from long range. Kind of like you would with the ranger. Now, I know there's like special stones or something. Like maybe this one? I don't know. I don't know how it works. But there's like portals you can make in rocks that are supposed to look like these, I guess. I'm not sure. I haven't come across them. But there's supposedly rocks that you can make teleportation points at. I haven't discovered any. But it would make traveling a lot easier. Unfortunately, all I have to go by is on foot right now. I haven't come across any bunnies, but I... Oh, stay away from that bumblebee. Unless I can get the bumblebee to attack me, and then these dwarves will attack it. If I kill that, I'm going to... Seven experience. See, that was wonderful. Ah, some armor. Not for my class, but I can still sell it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I meant to say, this game is an awful lot like, or it reminds me of, rather, of a 3D realm of the Mad God, with the different classes and the terrain. How can you not think that it kind of looks like Realm of the Mad God? Although it's not as massively multiplayer. I suppose it could be. I suppose you could find a big server and play on with a bunch of people. But normally it's just nice to play with a friend or two. Like I do with Edmund and Louis. So maybe after they see this video they'll be like, Hey, you, let's play it without us. We should all play together. Because we've had, oh man, we've had some wild times on here. You should have been there. You should have been there. I also want to get James into playing this game because this would be incredibly fun to play with him. Plus we haven't played anything in forever. Alpaca. I'll pack out your bags for you. That's a bad lizard man. You can tell because he's got a red bar. And we shall kill this lizard man. Oh no, the, alpaca, the alpacas are attacking me now. Okay, good. Steal his gold, or copper rather. And kill the alpacas, got some experience. Now, using different weapons will sort of provide a different play style. Like, the wand's a bit slower, but it deals more damage, for example. And it attacks in sort of a different pattern. Like, each class can use, like, uh, two or three different kinds of weapons. that will change it up just a little bit. Not quite as varying as, say, uh, Monster Hunter, but different enough. If you want different gameplay, just choose a different class entirely. Um... Am I still... Yes, I'm still heading in the right direction. As you can see, there's going to be a lot of traveling, which is pretty fun, so it'll just be you and me and Aeon, the destroyer of worlds, traveling together and living, living life on the edge, killing onionlings and innocent bystanders. Now you have your left click attack, which is the regular attack, and then right click for your magic attack. My magic attack is those bigger watery blasts which uh, knock them over temporarily. Sometimes you can stun an enemy so that's pretty useful. Since I'm a mage my uh, magic automatically fills up but if you're like a different class you'll have to attack with the regular attack and that'll build up your magic bar and then you can use whatever magic attack you have. Maybe I'll demonstrate it eventually, but for now I'm going to stick to Aeon. He is going to be the main spotlight character, because doesn't he just look just awesome? Man, I love those purple eyes. I'm glad I picked that. Purple eyes are awesome. Purple eyes and white hair. Looks like a time traveler almost. Aeon, traveler of time. Attack this orange collie. Hopefully he doesn't kill me when he gets here. 
try and keep my hits going. The good thing about this is I can sort of heal myself while I attack. But that's about it. Well, there's more good things to it, because you can heal your friends and whatnot. Friends you're playing with. Unless you went to the other class, or, um, other tech tree, rather, which is the fire. But I wanted water, because I found healing myself and others to be more useful. And whatever fire had to offer, I can't really remember. You can hit control to climb walls. And you can also... As you level up, you'll get more and more stamina. And climb for longer. Fly for longer. And there's some other perks and things that require stamina of, from, like, different classes. Well, you should totally buy this game. It's, like, $20, I think it was. I can't remember. The price may change in the future as the game updates. Ah, oh, these are good elves. Are you a good elf or a bad elf? Peacock! Kill that peacock! Perhaps they'll help me. Yep, see. See, that guy's water too. He, he knows what's going on. He knows what's good. Thank you, elf people. I'm also an elf, by the way. Elf's like the coolest. Cotton plants. You need uh, cotton and things. So, you, depending on what class you have, like an elf, I'll have like a uh, mermaid, rather. I'll have like a robe that I'll need cotton or yarn for, so I'll need to take plants out. But other classes, like the warrior, for example, will need like iron to make the iron chest plate or something. Ugh! Kill the shepherd dog! Oh, there's an evil, evil dwarfs down there. Oh, they're hurting me really badly. Okay, I'm just gonna run. When in doubt, run. That's a bad ogre. There is fall damage, so be careful. And I I have learned the healing stream ability, so I can heal myself like that. Rather than having to take a potion. <gasps> Evil humans! Oh, also those dwarves are still on my tail. Enemies will follow you for a while, so... I wanted cotton. I will die for my cotton! Here's a bush! Uh, uh, sometimes they'll follow you for a while. But if you just keep running... Just keep running away. They'll stop. Eventually. I hope. Unless they're relentless... Merciless humans. Like most humans are. Merciless. I think I could heal myself on the go. Oh, there we go. That's pretty useful. See how useful that is? You should all be mages. Although the ranger was a pretty cool class, if you want to be a ranger. Every class is pretty cool. Has their own little perks and things. Different play styles. Perhaps I should do a jump cut here. <laughs> this is going to be a little while till I get to Terroria Canyon. I wonder if that's the lands of Terroria. Uh, the names are randomly generated as well, depending on the seed you picked. So that's kind of neat. The lands of Damalon. It's pretty cool. Pretty nifty, if I do say so myself. I definitely need to learn how to ride an animal. I need to find a rabbit. Or have uh, Edmund and Louie give this character give my character an extra pet that they might have. Because not only can you ride pets, but they'll attack things for you. And if they die, they'll respawn and attack some more. So they're very useful. Oh, that would be an awesome raccoon to tame. Because he was red. That must mean he's at a high level. But we shall forge on. <gasps> oh, biters. He's red, so stay away from him. You'll learn. You'll learn uh, what things are evil and what things won't attack you unless you attack them. Etc. Like plants. They won't attack you. Innocent plants. That we, we kill for our enjoyment. Sorry, cotton plant. I didn't mean it. 
pick the heart flowers and eat them. Ah, uh, it's good. It's good to stop by a cave once in a while. I don't know. I think I might need iron for the different amulets. It's good to stop through a cave to see if there's any deposits, because there's like gold and emerald as well. So yes. Ah, uh, okay. We're safe. You can fall for a little bit without killing yourself. But you have to be especially careful when you're high. On like a mountain or something. Or gliding, rather. Because you can glide pretty high. Pretty high in the sky. Oh, man. I'll probably stop as soon as I reach Terroria Canyon. Because I don't want to record this session for too long. I just want to give you guys a taste of Cube World and its awesomeness. And if you want me to continue Cube World, I will gladly because Cube World is awesome. And then I can get Edmund and Louie involved and James. It'll be a tale of epicosity. Yeah. It's from Tobuscus, isn't it? I picked things up from different YouTubers. I'm sorry. I haven't watched him in a while. Probably should stop by his channel. He's probably got some... He's always got some funny stuff. What is that human doing? He's being stupid. Attack in a bush. See, it's so exciting. It's just this traveling is just amazing. I'm not making fun of it. The first time I played it, uh, traveling was amazing. I'm like, wow, this is cool. And I walked for miles and miles. Aha, see, I made it to Terraria Canyon. Defeat the ruler in Terraria Canyon. Now, the ruler might be... Uh, see, there's a lot more enemies in places like this, so I might not even be able to defeat the ruler. Because the, be the beetles, for example, are pretty hardy. Pretty hardy enemies. Tough to conquer. Oh! Let's try and kill this lemon beetle. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, we got it. We got it. Let's kill... Bark beetle. Beetles give out a lot of experience. But they're also kind of hard to beat. Die! Yay! Oh, that's only two experience. It's the lemon beetles. That's where it's at. I hear some fighting going on. Sometimes the random people of good will attack evil enemies. Like over there. He seems to be in a bit of a pickle. Uh oh. Three lemon beetles. This is a good experience farm. Although it looks like that one guy died. I was too late. I was too late in helping him. Sorry, friend. Um... Let's get to somewhere safe, and we'll call it a day, even though day is not technically over. It's still in the afternoon. It can get really late in the game and really dark. Like, it's almost pitch black at night, so it's almost a necessity to go to an inn, which I like that. I, I'm glad it makes it a necessity. We'll kill these guys to get some experience. Ah, oh, it's charging an evil beam of doom. Like, enemies also have their special magic charge attacks or whatever that they can do. Die. Okay. That was wonderful. We survived the onslaught of beetles. Mm, sounds like more people are fighting. Uh-oh. Th those are bad beetles. They're red. Oh, I'm barely doing anything to him. Better run. Oh, these are the guys that are fighting. Okay, maybe they'll help me out. Because I think that beetle's still chasing me. Yes. Ow, 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 ow. I'm healing him. I'm dead. Ah, no. 
Just attacking me right out of the blue. Evil Knoll. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I gained experience from all those different beetles that they killed. See, he's trying to heal himself. Not on your life, sport. Die, Noel. Yes, Noel's dead. Wolf's bad. <laughs> Wolf's gonna kill me. Healing stream! Oh, yeah. Okay, these are bad beetles. They're all red. They're gonna kill me. This wolf is gonna kill me. I'm out of here. I'm sorry, wolf. Whatever I did to anger you. <laughs> okay, good. Whew. That was a red wolf. Could have easily taken me out. Ah, campfire. We'll rest by the campfire. And we'll be done. But trust me, there's a lot more to do. And a lot of biomes to explore. And finding the different foods to tame the different things. You can end up with a lot of pets and be like a pet master. So we'll just sit here and gaze on the lands that we just conquered. Aeon. Destroyer of worlds. Actually, this would probably be a good um, icon to put as the video icon. I think I'll do that. I'll stop recording and take a picture. But this has been Cube World, the awesome adventures of Aeon, the destroyer of worlds, and myself. And maybe next time we'll have Edmund or Louie join me, and maybe I can get James to buy this game as well, because it is awesome. Uh... That's what the inside of Aeon looks like. Cubes of madness. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. I'm not dead, and hopefully I'll still continue Let's Playing this and won't fall off the face of the earth again. So take care, and farewell.